So we saw a big interfaith rally um, take place ahead of these climate talks. Why do you think that religious groups are responding to climate change in such a, a vigorous and powerful way? Religious groups are responding to climate change because they see the, um, God's responsibility for creation. And uh, that's a very um, issue which is uh, at the heart of the parishes. And the second thing is that in development, uh, we people in the South, they are affected already by climate change. They are losing their livelihoods. And as a development agency, we are very concerned about this and we don't see how this is addressed um, at the moment fast in, to get uh, help on the ground fast enough. And has it been your experience as well that the impacts of climate change are being felt now in countries such as Liberia? Yes, climate change is being felt by every sect of our society, uh, especially people who live in rural communities. Uh, they, they are lost in their food, uh, life they hold, uh, this uh, flooding taking place in some places, they are dropped. This leading to extreme hunger and weather pattern. And this is a concern of the churches in West Africa that indeed people are suffering. And we think that they should not suffer alone and that the churches need to respond in a timely manner in an effort to uh, work towards uh, adaptation and mitigation in a way that um, these people will know that God has created a beautiful world and that we are to care for creation. It's our responsibility. And do you think the response of, of churches in the, in the rich world has been adequate so far uh, across North America and Europe, I'm thinking specifically? It could be a more top of the order priority, but nevertheless, the church, uh, faith based and um, development aid is addressing the issue and we have a lot of partners uh, in Asia, Africa and Latin America who offer solutions on the ground, who have communities who are running decentralized energy projects where poor are provided energy access and also we have a lot of our work done in rural enterprise where there's an adaptive component already in so we are the ones on the ground who just try to find the solutions. And in North America especially there's a lot of conservative uh, Christians who maybe don't believe in, in climate change. Do you think that faith might be an effective way in engaging them in the issue? Definitely faith uh, is very important and could help in dialogue and in negotiation with our Northern partners and especially uh, those from Canada, uh, those from the United States, uh, uh, because these countries are fit communities. They, they believe in creation and they should understand and also believe that we have to care for creation. But they could do a little bit more. Uh, they need to lobby with their policy makers, decision makers, to ensure that uh, global warming is reduced, is cut down, and the whole issue of emission is cut down in the north because their action in the north is impacting our, our people in the south. So we need to call on them to ensure that they take this as their responsibility in the first place to, to protect creation to ensure that their action uh, is affecting uh, their brothers and sisters in the south. And Ruth, what's your perspective on this? Um, climate action has to be led by science, so it is a both. You have to engage yourself because it's a concern of yourself, but then the re how you implement it must depend on science. It must be science-based. And what do you see as the future role of the church uh, when it comes to uh, dealing with the consequences of climate change and also when it comes to encouraging people to take action? Yeah, that thing the role of the church is to ensure that um, we have fair and transparent negotiation on the national and international level, especially at the conference of the parties. When we meet, faith communities do have uh, uh, the moral voice, the moral authority to live with their uh, uh, church members and other faith community to ensure 
that we have fair, transparent and open negotiation and the negotiation that will be uh, in the interest of those who are suffering from climate change. And Ruth, how would you like to see the church play a role in, in these negotiations and in the broader response to climate change? I see the role in the, uh, of the churches to remind the, the um, delegations here that they have a responsibility and the, uh, to fulfill and to provide for, for the future of their people. Thank you very much for speaking to us both.